Hey, what's good guys? Polly Popo here. I'm glad to be on the channel with you guys today. Uh, last week we did the Model D expansion pack and about two weeks before that we did the Elements expansion pack. It was really, really fun and I barely scratched the surface on any of these devices, especially the Model D. Um, I really only focused on the low end on that, but it's really got a lot of power to uh, make some super massive leads. Um, but this week, what I'm going to really be focusing on uh, is the Behringer Neutron. And I want to show you guys how to hook that up with um, the CV cables, not the MIDI. We're not going to be hooking anything up MIDI today, which I, I love hooking up MIDI. But um, basically, a MIDI cable has about 200 of these, and it sends a signal through one wire. We're going to be sending signals independently. And I want to show you a cool trick with the bearing of Neutron, how to get that ringing to stop so that you can just hit a note and play it. Because uh, we know that bearing of Neutron is a beast in its own. And uh, I want to show you how to be able to control all of these uh, different parameters of the bearing of Neutron without even having to touch it just by using these CVs hooked up to the MPC. Um, you can use the MPC Live or the, the One, but I'm going to be using the MPC X today. It has eight CV outs, and if you know, um, there's some hidden features on here that I don't even really pay attention to. Then I'm going to show you guys kind of what, uh, how I'm going to be designing this next pack, just so you can see that I'm making the sounds. And um, yeah, come on and check this out. I'm going to show you how to hook it up, what wires you need, and uh, how to hook it to your mixer and get audio back and all that stuff. So let's just get right into it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to uh, click the subscribe button or if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments or there will be a link in the description to a website 8barbeats.com and if you go there there's a little message thing you can just message me through there and it's totally free so and i got my sound packs up there too from the model d and they do preview so um, go check those out too but let's get right into this uh setup and then I'm going to spend the next 12 hours making this sample pack. But um, here we go. Cool, so we got the MPC right here, right? Nothing is plugged in. So I'm literally going to go from the beginning to the end here real quick. So grab your CV wires. I'm going to grab eight of these, okay? We want them to be long enough to be able to stretch from your MPC to wherever it is. So I'm using a good, I don't know, two foot, three foot wire. All right, cool. So right here, you're going to see all of your CV down here. You got your MIDI, MIDI in. We're not going to worry about the MIDI, and these are your MIDI outs. What you want to do is plug in all your CVs, these little holes on top. All right, and we're not going to control more than just the Behringer Neutron with this, but we're going to use all of these. All right, so just go ahead and put them all right in there really doesn't matter what order you don't have to memorize the color of the rainbow or anything like this and the whole point of this is to be able to send different voltages to all these different parameters over here so i'm going to take all of these outs this is out one and out two so we know that's got to go to cv and gate of course for the oscillators i'm going to go ahead and sync these here e gate and i'll explain this on the mpc also okay um to get output on your behringer what we're going to do or what i like to do is go from the oscillator mix because if you don't do this it's just going to ring out meaning when you play a key it's just going to buzz and then you're not going to be able to stop so i go from the oscillator mix check this out check this out i go from the oscillator mix into the vca in the vca in is right here this is what's going to give me my volume. Now I got control if I want it to. It acts like a filter almost or voltage control, whatever. All I know is that whenever I hit this, this way, it gives me control over the sound. So now the output 
of course I was going out of the bearing of the Model D I'm gonna be going output just like that all we did we went CV1 in the oscillator 1 and 2 you can actually play two tracks on the bearing of neutron you can go 3 and 4 but that's we're not doing that CV1 in the oscillator 1 and 2 and then the gate goes into gate E1 okay it's this right here it's labeled and that's the setup for just about any modular system and you don't need multiple different systems it's just how the system sounds with the Arduino chips or whatever dude it's just some of these sound better than others is all I'm trying to say so now I have the output going into um, my mixer and then anything going into my mixer because I want to beef up my sound so I put my sounds going into my mixer so output here going into my mixer and then out of my mixer uh, back into my MPC through these wires okay my mixers back here this wire right here is going into my mixer right here on those two channels up there and then coming out of my mixer I can hear through my speakers if I want to because I want to fatten up the bass I want to hit the mids and everything like that and I'm not using a computer so anything that I hear out of there I want to come back into my MPC and I'm going to be using my MPC X on this one because I used um, these wires which is fine but if you can plug these into your speakers and then put your XLRs into here this way you get that real nice sound and um, avoid crappy wires just try to get the best wire you can I know they're not cheap so anything that you guys donate I spend right back into wires and stuff um, so what we're gonna do is turn everything on and I want to show you how I get the signal to come back into the MPC and then what I'm going to do with the rest of these and how these are going to change the way that you make sounds on your Model D. So check this out. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to randomly plug these in. Check this out. We know these are the wires from here. So three, I'm going to go into shape. Okay. Four, I'm going to go into LFO rate. And I, I don't know what this is going to do. Honestly, I thought about doing this, and I'm putting the video together, so we're going to see what it does together. And it is just uh, delay in. I like that. You can control the delay with this wire. With this wire, we're going to control the frequency modulation. With this one, we're going to control the resonance and with this when I'm running out of wires we're going to stick this into a multi multi in do I have a multi yeah a multi in and I'm just really just trying to use um, as much wires as I can uh, there's no method to this so I go multi one, I'm gonna go to shape two. This is gonna control two different parameters. And then multi two is gonna control this delay time. I still got room for pulse width. So look at all this. Your MPC is gonna be controlling all of this stuff. All right, so let's plug this in. Let's plug this mess in. I'm gonna show you what, what's, what's going on here real quick. All right, so this is really easy, really cool. Um, you're just gonna turn on your MPC, hit empty project, and then uh, hit the CV on the bottom right instead of like track menu or whatever. Go ahead right over here and hit this CV. 
It's on CV1 and 2. We know CV1 and 2 goes into the oscillator uh, 1 and 2 and then the gate from the Behringer neutron because that's where we plugged it in earlier. Right up here. Oscillator 1 and 2 and the shape that was, or, or the, uh, the gate. That's 1 and 2. CV sends pitch. This sends gate. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Whenever you have the oscillator mix going into the VCA, if you have the VCA bias turned all the way left clock, uh, counterclockwise, you have control over the attack, decay, sustain, release, and everything. But without doing this little hookup here that we did earlier, you'll get this the whole time. And it won't go away. So... Yeah, that's how you do that. So these sounds sound kind of crazy. What I want to show you is this. It isn't about me making a killer sound or anything like that. I just want to show you guys how, like I said, to hook this up, get the audio, and now I want to be able to show you. You know, on plugins, when you hit program edit, it shows you your plugin. If you didn't know that, <clears throat> it does. When you go to any of these different plugins, Okay, and you hit program edit, it shows you everything, even on your channel mixer. Sorry guys, if you know this, I just figured I'd show this too. Every time that you do any of these, and you hit, it shows you what it is, okay? You hit program edit and it shows you what it is. Same with MIDI. You hit program edit, it shows you your MIDI parameters. If you go to your here, you hit program edit, it lets you customize. Same with CV is what I'm trying to say. If you hit CV and you hit program edit, which I know a lot of people don't because I don't see a lot of people messing with modular gear. But now I can control all the parameters that I have CV1. According to how you had them laid out, we had some clip, uh, doing two different. It's just a really cool uh, way to be able to get your sounds out. Turning some knobs. I'm going to rearrange all this to tune it to where I can just sit back and hit my cue links instead of have to reach up over here every time I want to change a sound. So I will set this up properly. It was a little sloppy, but I wanted to show you guys that you can change the shape, the mode. I don't know if there's a mode on here. And like I say, I'm just scratching the surface. I did learn a lot about the Model D. That was super fun. But um, now I'm gonna get into the Behringer Neutron. And then um, maybe for the next one, I'll just combine them because there are ways to make them work together. And uh, I'm just getting really excited about it. I've been very busy, but on my time off, I like to do this stuff and share uh, how I have it set up. So I really hope this helped. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back on here. Or uh, you can email me or go to the 8barbeats.com and uh, send a message on there. A lot of people email me. Just go to the site and message me on there. It does it all automatically for, for you, and I worked hard on it to do that. So, yes. Right on. I'm Polly Popo, and I will see you guys on the next one.